Two area tribes cannot agree on a casino project that would build a new casino near the Illinois border in southeastern Wisconsin. The problem, as we've reported, is that while the Kashina based Menominee tribe wants to partner with the Forest County Potawatomi, the Potawatomi opposes the new gaming facility planned for the former Dairyland Greyhound Park in Kenosha. Federal officials have approved the new billion dollar casino, but as Laura Smith is here to tell us, there are still hurdles to cross for that to happen. That's right, Tom. Governor Scott Walker has the final say on the casino and says his approval of the license rests on all 11 sovereign tribes approving it. At this point, the biggest point of contention is with the Potawatomi, especially now after details of a possible business venture with the Menominee were made public. Tonight, we hear from both sides. In a letter recently made public, the Menominee Tribe offered the Forest County Potawatomi a share in managing or developing the proposed Kenosha Casino. The deal that Forest County could come away with would potentially be about $200 million. The release of the details of the deal have upset the Potawatomi. Tribal leaders say making the offer public was a gimmick to garner attention. Unfortunately, every time the Potawatomi has met with Menominee, um, the details of those conversations, what they thought were confidential, uh, have found their way to the media. This is our shot at, at you know, really a better, better life for all our membership. And we don't take this lightly and we don't joke about it and it's not a gimmick to us. The Potawatomi run a lucrative off-reservation casino in Milwaukee and fear the competition would hurt revenue. But a bigger issue is behind the tribe's opposition. The project has a long history of corruption and scandal. Uh, and the fact that there are out-of-state interests involved with this project that will make millions of dollars at the expense of Milwaukee and Wisconsin. It's just so unfair to say that. And, you know, there's no corrupt or mob ties to this project. You know, that's... They're just trying to paint it in a bad light. And, you know, it's just, it's just not fair and it's not true. Governor Walker's approval of the casino's license is dependent on all of Wisconsin's 11 sovereign tribes supporting the venture. We contacted each one. Most did not return our calls, however, the Oneida tribe says at this point it remains undecided. The Lac du Flambeau tribe says it supports the Menominee's efforts to build a new casino. Corn tells Fox 11 the project has the support of eight tribes. St. Croix, Lac du Flambeau, El Ciel, Bad River, Red Cliff, Stockbridge, Muncie, Chicago, Chippewa, Menominee. Horn says the Menominee tribe will continue to pursue negotiations with the Potawatomi. He says that he's ready to meet with Potawatomi leaders anytime, any place. We just keep monitoring our, our phones and our computers and hopefully they'll respond back. Potawatomi tribal leadership is still deciding what its next move will be. The proposed Kenosha Casino is projected to create 3,300 jobs and provide the state with 35 million in annual payments. A lobbyist for the Potawatomi says the Menominee's economic predic pr predictions are exaggerations and the state's casino market is saturated. 